Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between strings and records and when you're doing a flow in Flow Designer. And the context here is I set up integrations all the time. I'm activating spokes as part of doing demos and stuff like that. And today I was working on setting up Azure DevOps board spoke. And you can see it there behind me. Um, one of the things that you do, well, I do, I should say for me, is I go immediately test once I have set up my connections, my credentials and stuff like that. And um, I ran into this problem where I didn't think the spoke was working because I kept getting an error message when I went to look up the projects in Azure, De Azure DevOps. So I was like, hey, um, I figured my way around it. I figured out what I was doing wrong, but I was like, you know, people are gonna run into this all the time. I'd really like to share what, what I've realized that I need to be thinking more about doing when I'm building these integrations. So let's jump right to it. If you look at uh, what I've got set up here, the first thing I was trying to do was get projects in Azure DevOps, you could get a list of them, right? So it prompts me here for a connection alias. And I was left with um, a blank box and an ability to do <clears throat> either a script or go pick something using the data pill picker. Um, so uh, let me put that back so you can see what that is. So this is what the connection alias is inside, uh, or the ID of that connection alias is for this particular uh, connection that I made. Now, if you're still unsure, should I use a string or should I use something else? Uh, you can go actually look at the actions that you're using, right? So you can go out to, uh, you can pull up the action in the spoke and you can see, okay, it's asking me for a connection alias and it's asking for a maximum projects to import. And if you look here, it's kind of, um, I'll zoom in and post, you can see it's asking for a string value. So connection out, connection alias, string. And that's how it behaves. So let's go ahead, I want to show you um, what that looks like when I ran that by itself. So let's just test this. We'll show you. We'll select a, a requested item record here. There we go, number 36. We'll run it. And by running this, it's going to go through those actions. And I'm going to show you the error message I got because it's helped set some context to, to why I went down the path that I did that I'm going to get to in a second where I show actually how I got this to work. So if I view the flow execution, you can see I got an error message, right? It says unable to load connection with alias and what I put in there. And here's the really misleading part. Look at this, it says open connection alias. So this is a hyperlink. If I click it, it opens my connection alias. So it's like, hey, it knows it's there. There's my connection alias, it connects to my Azure DevOps, it's got everything, I've double checked the uh, personal access token, everything. So I was like, huh, why isn't this working? It knows what that's a connection alias, but then when it runs it, it says it's unable to load the connection alias with that alias ID and uh, what I pasted in there. So, <clears throat> and this happened a lot in Flow Designer, where what I did is I hard-coded a string value, and what I should have done was dropped in a data pill. So if you look at the example just above that, what I did ended up doing was I used the lookup record action in ServiceNow, go find that connection and credential alias, and I'll set a condition on it to look for that same ID that I was using in the string value uh, just below in the action and wait for it to come up here, the condition. Um, but while it's waiting to come up, um, and then what I do, oh, there it is. So you could see where I said, hey, the ID is, and there's the text that I was pasting into my Azure DevOps action. What that makes available to me, if you look just above my head, is this record data pill. And so what I did on the one that worked is I just picked this up and drag it over into that field to use that connection and credential alias. And if we uh, look at that, uh, what that did before, uh, on the test, in fact, we don't even need to go to the test because uh, I just ran it and it should have worked. We'll just go look at the um, executions for that one and we just pulled up the last one we did. Uh, where we got the error message, if you look at the one, there's the error message, but if you look at one above it, it was actually successful. It pulled the projects from within my Azure DevOps. So um, even though this one down here failed where I hard coded it. So my takeaway for you after this is if something's not working, <clears throat> don't assume you set up the spoke wrong. Don't assume you did an integration wrong. Check it, make sure if the if the action itself is looking for maybe a record, a data pill instead of a string value uh, when you're using it. And, uh, and then you don't have to go do all that troubleshooting. I probably spent a little bit too long troubleshooting, but in the end, it all ended up working. And I'm gonna make for a great video uh, showing Azure DevOps integrations in a future video. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.